Hello, my name is Jacob and you are watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Uh, today I want to talk about Kydex and specifically I want to talk about how you can tell whether or not your Kydex is any good. I want to help you know what to look for. And I have a few knives here uh, to, from different makers to show you uh, what to look for. Um, the number one thing is retention. This is uh, Black Bear Custom Kydex on a prototype Exodus knife and tool Legionnaire Combat. The knife goes in and out smoothly here. There's no, no resistance. Then once it goes in, you got a nice click. You have, it's, it's held in there uh, nice and secure. And on the way out, it's hard to show, harder to show than in. On the way out, you also have a nice click. Uh, another knife. This is uh, Bear Forest Knives, they're GT3 in an Armatus Carry Solutions sheath. Good retention, good click out, no retention on the draw, good click in. Very nice. Finally, we have an SECR 2.5 in a Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex sheath. This one has seen many, many miles. Click in. Click out. Excellent. So, um, one of the benefits of Kydex or Bolteron as a thermoplastic is they can flex and return to their original shape many, 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 many times. So, you have this knife sheath. Uh, it has to spread here for the knife to come out, and then it has to spread to go back in, and it comes back to its shape. So you don't, you know, properly done Kydex, you won't need any extra snaps, buckles, retention. You can put them on there for peace of mind, like for an airborne ready setup, if you could be jumping out of a plane, like I used to, uh, with a knife on you. But uh, it really should have enough retention to hold the knife securely without anything else. Um, if you do not have that proper click, that, that really positive retention, then you might not be able to trust the knife. You know, a sheath uh, for a knife where the knife falls out is basically worthless. All right, number two, size. You can see with uh, this GT3 and Armatus Carry Solutions sheath and with this uh, Legionnaire Combat and the sheath from Black Bear Custom Kydex, they are very, very close fitting to the blade. Not a whole lot of extra space there. Now on the um, Yellowhawk Custom Kydex, we have a little bit of extra space around the blade, a little bit more uh, Kydex as compared to the knife blade. However, um, the shape of it allows you to mount other things like this fire steel on there. And so this is, I'm completely okay with this. I, I like knives. I like a little bit of extra kydex is fine as long as the retention is perfect um, but too much is too much right so on this little knife if this sheath was any longer and any fatter it would be too much wasted space and material uh, there's no point in carrying um, one size knife with a massive sheath because you could just as easily carry a larger knife like let's not waste space Okay, and the last thing that I'm looking for, um, but still of very high importance, is modularity. I want to be able to um, do whatever I need to do with the knife sheath. So the spacing of the rivets ideally will be compatible with many different mounting solutions, be it a tech lock or different uh, molly adapters for molly webbing or the maker should be able to offer you a belt loop with it usually kydex is pretty universal that's a huge strength of the material is how thin it how thin of a sheath it makes and how universal it is but a few makers uh, or uh, inexperienced makers will just have random spacing of eyelets that doesn't match up with anything and that kills one of the biggest benefits of the material itself. Now, the reason that I bring this up uh, is specifically for my customers, actually. Uh, for Exodus Knife and Tool, we've had two complaints about the White River knives 
uh, kydex sheaths having too much retention. Um, and so I want to show you guys how to properly use a kydex sheath if you're not quite used to it. Uh, you, you need to have somewhere on a good kydex sheath to put your thumb and to pop it off. If I just pull on this knife, it should be very hard to remove. However, if you use your thumb, it can be very easy. This adventure craft is going absolutely nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. And yet, I've got an Ulta clip on mine because these sheaths were designed to be incredibly universal. I've got an Ulti clip on here. They come with a horizontal uh, belt loop that's very nice. You could mount anything on here any way you wanted but um or so but however you've got it mounted you know you want to have easy access to that thumb ramp to be able to pop it off or if you use a hard mount like this ulti clip is or as a neck knife you want that retention to really be able to pull against it and especially if it's a neck knife because the last thing that you want is to have to run or do something quickly that's unexpected and your knife falls out under your shirt. The only, the, the, the best case scenario is it falls out, clears your body and hits the ground. Uh, and that's not a good scenario. So uh, I would behoove you if you get your Kydex to, and it's a little bit too uh, stiff to practice using it, get used to it you'll probably never notice that it's too stiff ever again and with use it will slightly it should slightly loosen up with that being said if you get an exodus knife and tool uh, uh knife uh and sheath from white river they will loosen it up for you if you request it they've had to do that twice now when i first came out with this knife design um the retention was much looser and one of my biggest supporters and friends in the YouTube community lost his knife. And, um, you know, the friend in me wanted to be able to send him another knife for free. Now, at that time, uh, the knives were not all the same. White River knives, all of their Kydex sheaths are going to fit all of their adventure crafts. All of their scales are going to fit each other because White River knives does everything absolutely exactly perfect it's amazing it really is but at that time they were handmade so not only could i not do that but i'm also trying to run a business here and i can't replace a knife that's lost so it was a crappy situation for everybody it it really sucked so good retention is important again you know i want to pop it out and have a click on the way out have no retention on the way in click on the way in um, i'll say white river knives makes the nicest factory kydex that i have ever seen from a production company it's easily uh on par with custom makers the only difference is you don't have the custom options you can't really say i want this color and i want these accessories you know it is a production uh, kydex sheath uh, you get what you get so there you go guys um you know I've got a lot of bad kydex. I got a lot of kydex that has no click on the way in or out, and that only holds the knife through tension across the whole blade. So there's there's resistance all the way out and all the way in, and no click. You you never have that positive click to know that it's all the way in and locked in. And if it's halfway out or it's sliding its way out, you won't know that either because you don't have the positive click out. Good way to lose your knife. By doing that, you might as well be using nylon or leather because you've lost some of the greatest benefits of the Kydex material. Um, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments section below. I hope that you have a blessed day. Um, and the links to how you can support me, my businesses, and my channel will be in the description box below through Beach and Tactical where I make uh, made-to-order custom rifle slings and gear exodusknifeandtool.com where I sell uh, my knives and uh, I've got Instagrams, Patreon, all that kind of stuff down there as well. So thank you for watching and let me know if you learned something uh, in this video and potentially pass it on to somebody else that you know if they might need to know what good Kydex looks like. I hope you have a blessed day.